I want to take a few minutes to go over some of the stuff from the Nearpod that you did on payroll because you are going to have to do this for a grade and I want to make sure that everybody has the information that they need in order to be successful. So looking at the part where we were reading pay stubs, let's start with Jane Brown. Okay, so here's her pay stub. The first question is, what is the name of Jane Brown's employer? And the name of a person's employer is the company that wrote the check. So Jane Brown's employer is Hamburger Palace Enterprises. Okay. The next question asked, how much did Jane earn before taxes? If you remember, before taxes is your gross pay. So right down here is her gross earnings. If you looked at the previous pay stub here where I, where I explained what everything meant, you will recall that current means this paycheck, this pay period, and YTD means year to date. So unless the question is asking what the year to date earnings is, you always want to give the current. So the current earnings is $120. And then what is Jane's hourly wage? We're going to do a little math there and we see that she earned $120 and she worked for 20 hours. So we just divide those two numbers and we end up with $6 an hour. Okay, here we have Peter's paycheck. So the first question is what pay period does Peter Smith's check cover? So that's right at the top here, the pay period. So it was 8-6-1999 through 8 12 1999 and that just means this is what he earned during that stretch of days how much federal income tax has been taken out of peter's that should say peter's check so far during 1999 so so far is going to indicate to you that we're looking for year to date and so if we look here at the taxes with head held we're looking at federal income tax year to date is four hundred and twenty nine dollars and eighty four cents how much did Peter contribute to a retirement plan from his paycheck these are his other deductions we see on the side over here 401k is a type of retirement fund so we see that he contributed thirty dollars from this paycheck and then lastly for Peter how much is Peter's take-home pay Take-home pay is also known as your net pay. So if we look here, we see that the net pay, I actually can't see that, let me zoom in, is $182.41. And lastly, we had Mary's paycheck. So here's a screenshot of her paycheck. The first question is how much was deducted from Mary's paycheck? There are two ways you can do this. You can add up everything in the current column or you can take her current pay, which is $448, and subtract her net pay from it, and you will get the total of this, which is actually her deduction. So I'm going to do it that way because it's a little quicker. And then when I do that, I see that her deductions totaled $98.79. And then how much has Mary been paid in total during, to, during 1999? That indicates to you that you're looking for year to date. And the year to date here is 5824. And then we are done going over the parts where you were reading paychecks or pay stubs. It's important that you understand where all these numbers came from. You understand how to read a pay stub. I will direct you back to this slide in the Nearpod that highlights the different areas. It's labeled for you because you will have to read a pay stub on your own. Okay, so now let's take a look at how these deductions are calculated. These are really important formulas. I do not expect you to memorize them. You will have access to them when you are calculating for a grade, but you want to make sure that you understand what all the formulas are used for. Okay, so to calculate gross pay, there are um, two ways to do it. You could take hours worked times wage rate, and that gets your actual gross pay. 
you could also get to your gross pay by doing net pay plus deductions. To calculate overtime earnings, we take the overtime hours worked times the hourly rate times 1.5. When you work overtime, overtime is anything over 40 hours a week, you actually make time and a half, 1.5 times your normal hourly rate for anything worked over 40 hours. Net pay is your gross pay minus your deductions. If you're calculating what percentage is deducted, whether that's what percentage of Medicare is deducted, what percentage of Social Security is deducted, you take deductions and divide it by gross pay and then multiply by 100. To calculate how much will be paid in Social Security tax, you would take gross pay times 0 0.062, which is 6.2% converted to a decimal, which is the percentage of Social Security withheld. And for Medicare, it's 0 0.0145. Okay, so I will have this form these formulas on the slides in which we're going to do some calculations on. Okay, so the first one says Tim deduct Tim's deductions add up to $132 a week. If his net pay is $467 a week, what is his gross pay? So we take a look at this and we see that we know his deductions and we know his gross pay. So we're going to use this formula. I'm sorry, we know his deductions and his net pay. So we're going to use this formula right here. And so right, we're going to take net pay, 467 plus deductions, and we find that his gross pay is $608. Okay, now we have Isaac. Isaac earns $14 per hour. He works 40 hours per week. 86.53 is deducted each week. What is his net pay? So for this one, we're going to have to use two formulas. In order to get to net pay, we look net pay equals gross pay minus deductions. We first have to get to gross pay because we do have deductions, but we don't have his gross pay. We do have how much he earns per hour and the number of hours he worked. So we can use this formula, gross pay equals hours worked times wage rate. So we can do 40 times 14 and we see that his gross pay is $560. So now we can look here and see which formula to use if we have gross pay and deductions because we're trying to get to net pay. So we're going to use this one right here. Gross pay minus deductions gives us our net pay. So 560 minus 8653 and we see that his net pay is $473.47. Next we have Andrew's gross pay is $1,050. He pays $210 in taxes and health insurance. What percentage of his income is deducted? So just based on that sentence, what percentage of his income is deducted? We can look and use this formula here. And we're going to put deductions, which is 210, divided by the gross pay. And when we do that, we see we get 0.2. And then we take that and multiply it by 100 to see that it is 20%. Lori's deductions total $46.87. Her gross pay is $450. What percentage of her income is deducted? This is the same, same setup, just different numbers. So we take the deductions divided by the gross. And we see that we get 0.10. And then we will multiply that by 100 and find that we are at 10%.
Frankie's gross pay is $885. He pays $206.73 in federal tax. What percentage of his earnings goes to federal taxes? So again, it's the same thing. We're just figuring out the percentage of federal taxes instead of the overall percentage deducted. So we take the amount deducted divided by the gross. And when we do that, we get 0.23 and we multiply by 100 to get 23%. Can't see the percent sign. Melinda's gross pay is $875. If the Social Security tax is 6.2%, how much will she pay in Social Security? So we look right here, this formula, how much will be paid in Social Security tax? And we're going to take 875 times 0 0.062 because that is 6.2% converted into a decimal. and we find that $54.25 will be deducted for Social Security. And lastly, we have Monica makes $10 an hour regular pay for the first 40 hours she works in one week. She makes $12 an hour for any time she works over 40 hours in a week. Calculate Monica's earnings if she works 55 hours this week. So we're gonna calculate her gross pay the first thing we're going to do is calculate her gross pay for the first 40 hours. So we know that she works 40 hours times 10. So for the first 40 hours she works that week, she's going to make $400. Now anything over 40 hours she works, she's going to make $12 an hour. So we see here that she worked a total of 55 hours. We have already accounted for 40 of them. So to find out how many overtime hours, we are just going to subtract those two numbers and we see that she worked 15 hours overtime. So for those 15 hours overtime, she's going to be making $12 an hour. So we take that 15 times 12 and we see that in overtime she made 180. And so to get her total earnings for the week, we take those two numbers and we simply add them together. And we see that she earned $580. After you have viewed this video, if there's anything you need to go back and go over again, please take the time to do that. And if you feel comfortable and confident in calculating payroll deductions as well as reading a pay stub, you can go into the classroom and complete the payroll assessment but please make sure that you are comfortable with all of this. You're confident in how to make the deduct, how to calculate the deductions. You're confident in how to read a paycheck. And of course, if you have any questions on any of that, please let me know.